Nihon Box Unboxing Speed Run, let's go! So this is the June edition of Nihon Box, and yes, I am behind, let's just get past that. And it says, this new box is Natsukashi Volume 2. <gasps> Natsukashi was the first Nihon Box that I got for November, so that's the nostalgia one. So actually, if I'm lucky, there may be some stuff in here that I know about. If it, oh, actually, I guess if it's nostalgic, it doesn't necessarily have to be 90s, it could be a different era, so never mind, scratch that. Mm. You should please the most nostalgic of you with a little throwback to the 80s. Oh, see, it's 80s, not 90s, so actually I'm less likely to... I might know about some other stuff, but I'm not as likely to have known it as much as 90s, because obviously 90s was my era. In fact, this month we did our best to get a products-based anime released in the 80s. The Young Die from Dragon Quest. Okay, well I know about Dragon Quest. The Burglar Sisters from Cat's Eye. Uh, I'm not too sure about that one. 1981. The Mystic and Timeless My Neighbor Tertero! Oh my god, well who doesn't know about that one? And of course Dragon Ball 1984 characters are also in the box. My Neighbor Tertero was 1988? What the hell? I I don't know what, how, but for some reason that never occurred to me. That that film doesn't feel that old. Wow, I'm amazed. I hope you enjoy many surprises. See you next month for Matsuri themed. Oh, I didn't know it actually told you what the next month is. I don't know what Matsuri means. And then this is a picture of, um, I don't know what that is. Is he making furniture or something? I don't know, it must be some kind of Japanese, like, art of some kind. I guess that makes sense, actually, that my neighbor Toto would be so old, because, like, it's always, like, at the front of, like, practically every Studio uh, Ghibli, like, movie. So, like, was my neighbor Toto one of their first ones? I don't know. Yeah, this is the Dragon Quest one. You know, the funny thing is, is that I know more about Dragon Quest from... Dragon... There are video games of Dragon Quest, aren't there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are video games, because I think that's more what I've seen of Dragon Quest rather than the anime itself. In fact, I don't think I actually realised that there was a proper anime for it. I think I always thought that all Dragon Quest stuff was all video game based. Not that I've played any of them, but it's just like, that's where I've seen it from. Dragon Quest figure. Die Quest. I don't know how you say that. What? How do you pronounce that accent? D? Day Quest, maybe? Dunno. This figure will bring out a lot of nostalgia for Dai, the hero of Dragon Quest. Dai Quest. This manga is inspired from the Dragon Quest video game. Oh! Released in 1989 and 1996. Oh, so I was right! It actually is, like, it started out as a video game and then, wow, that's actually quite... Uh, I suppose it's not necessarily that unusual because Pokemon started out as a video game and then it spawned manga from that. So I guess Dragon Quest is the same sort of thing where it started out as a video game and then manga. Actually, it's not very unusual because like loads of things do that. Like Final Fantasy was a video game first and then uh, now I'm sure there's loads of manga of that. Well, there's definitely loads of manga of that, never mind. Same with Kingdom Hearts as well. In the weekly Shonen Dump and the sh sh Shonen Dump. <laughs> In the weekly Shonen Jump, and is still very much popular to this day, a new anime launched last year, which is why many goodies, just like this beautiful figure, are getting released on this occasion. We hope you will find a good spot in your collection. Yeah, so, it seems like what they tend to do is, even though they're doing a nostalgia box, the stuff that they get is still, like, new stuff that's still being released. So, because that makes sense, like, I was just lucky with the Cardcaptor Sakura one, because it just so happens that they released um, they released a new season for Kai Captor Sakura after aid after it's finished for ages but then they did a new season. So this is a sort of similar thing where it's like even though the thing is nostalgic, it's only in the box because there's brand new stuff for it. So let's see about let's have a look at this. I'm I'm glad I at the very least know what this is. Oh, okay. Okay, so I was expecting a small thing, but actually it seems like it's still like quite a massive thing, but it's like a lot bigger. Oh, it's like the oh, it's one of the ones that actually fills up the box a bit better than some of the other stuff. It looks more the sort of size that um, that um, Jujutsu Kaisen figurine was. Oh, oh my god! There's like a <laughs> there's a massive there's just a long giant sword in there that he's clearly going to be holding, right? Oh, whoa, his, his, uh, oh, I didn't even notice his, uh, jeans are, like, ripped. <laughs> you can just see this spiky fabric just, oh, wow, look at that, his necklace is, like, in the air as if there's, like, momentum just frozen in time. That looks so cool. I find it funny that with this bubble wrap, they, they make 
each bit is in its own bubble wrap pocket. <laughs> like, I don't know, maybe it's so that it doesn't like accidentally scratch the other items or something, but... But now I can't get it out! Teeny tiny little sword, oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Let's see, I, this is just shows I don't know how this is meant. I'm gonna stab myself in the throat. <laughs> there. Look at that. How cool is that? I just can't get over just how the ripples of this stuff, like the casting. Like, how did they? How do they make the casting for this? Because it has to be done like that, surely. The details are just so sharp. Like, I don't. I wonder how they do that. Because normally, like when you cast stuff and then you like fill in the cast. It tends to come out with like there's some bits that are always kind of a little bit out like and not as sharp it's quite difficult making things feel sharp but they do a really good job i don't know i want to know what the process is now okay next we have oh my gosh what is this i see i see hot ladies <laughs> oh this is cat's eye i feel like i've heard of this before but this kind of this kind of looks like a workout regime like bag another bag cat's eye canvas backpack the youngsters might not have the reference but the most nostalgic of you will be excited to get this cat's eye in a japanese oh uh, this but the most nostalgic of you will be excited to get this cat's eye product in their nikon box in this this is a manga created by the awesome uh tezukasa hojo city hunter Hojo, that ju I'm sorry, but that, that name is ruined for me. <laughs> as breathtaking in death as in life, as you, my dear. Pre-published between 1981 and 1985 in the weekly Shonen Jump, this pretty bag enhances Tezuka, to oh, sorry, Tezukasa Hojo's style with an amazing illustration of the three cat's, eyes cat's eye heroine sisters. Jeez, that's hard to say. Cat's eye heroine sisters. Oh, so these, these girls are sisters, are they? Huh. Oh yeah, I guess they do kind of all look similar. I can kind of see someone using this to just like, like that just looks like workout stuff. Like I can see you taking this like uh, friggin' what's it called? Pilates or something. You know, yoga. Like it kind of zoots it, but then obviously some. I think some people would probably look at you a bit weird as well, but at the same time, I can see it. I can see people having this. I get. I get this one, unlike the my teacher Onizuka one. <laughs> oh, what is this? Is this a tree? Oh, sweets! Jam jam. Okay, I will save that for last. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, whoa! Oh my god! Okay. This catches my attention because the way it's made, you, I don't know how it's made, is this like made of bamboo or something? You can see like the, the kind of each individual kind of strands that it's put together and that kind of catches my attention because it looks, it reminds me of, because um, my family are from Central America, it reminds me of um, over there sometimes they make bags out of like, like old like crisp packets and stuff like that and it all comes out like in all little squares and stuff and you can see like every each individual packet that makes up like the bag or like a little with a little zip like this on it or a purse or something and that just kind of reminds me of that kind of similar it's not quite the same thing but it's kind of similar to that let's have a look at what the explanation for this is tatami pouch in the past few years tatami craftsmen have been struggling finding work in japan new housing no longer or or rarely feature Japanese roofs with tatami floors. As a solution, some of them started to craft little objects in Ugusa, a plant used for making of tatami. Just like the little pouch, it is a true pleasure to share this item with in our boxes. Ah, see? Cool. I don't know what tatami is. I'm gonna have to look that up. What, what, is, what do you normally make tatami? So yeah, this is like I thought. It's not made of bamboo, but it's made of like a, a kind of plant. Another thing that's kind of similar is that my mother, when she was young, she used to make hats, um, sombrero, like sombrero, everyone has that image of sombrero, of like the Mexican thing, but in Spanish it just means hat, so it's not specifically a Mexican sombrero, but they used to make hats and they use like, kind of like this, similar to that, it's like a kind of... They use a grass that's kind of similar to that, where it's like all dried out and it's a long strand of grass and then 
they make hats out of it and they're kind of like all the strands get kind of knitted almost together and it that looks kind of similar to that as well it, that's that's really cool um i quite like that there's actually stuff i have loads of pencils and stuff that i can keep that in so that'll actually be useful oh my god i'm so happy I was wondering what the name my neighbor Totoro thing would be. <gasps> that is adorable. I love it. And I've never used things like this, but I will be using that and only I will be using this. This is mine. <laughs> this has me so excited. It's just so cute. Okay. Totoro Tumblr. With the summer approaching, here is a gorgeous tumbler to enjoy your most refreshing drinks. The design is a feature of different characters from From the movie My Neighbor Totoro with leaves, trees, and plants. It is large enough 500 milliliters to contain most of your original drink scraps, melon cream soda, or milkshakes. Yummy. I am going to absolutely love using this. Like, I feel like a child again. Ugh. Ugh. Look how cute it is. It's so pretty and sparkly, and it's so cute. I love it. It's got Totoro on it. I forget what. Does that little white bunny thing have a name? I forget. Does it not have- Yes, it's got sup balls on it! I was about to say, does it not have any sup balls on it? does. Oh, it's so pretty and cute. I'm actually quite surprised that they didn't put any of the, uh, any of the little children characters on them. But, uh, but that's fine by me. That's so cute. I love it. Yes. <laughs> I never thought I would be so happy to receive a thing to drink from, but I really am. <laughs> the nostalgic boxes, they're the ones that always get me. <laughs> I have so much nostalgia and th these ones, they just, they make me so happy. Okay, and then next we have, this is clearly um, Dragon Balls. Uh, not necessarily Dragon Ball Z. I, oh, this one is Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I was like, last time I kept talking about Dragon Ball Z, and I always, I, 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 to me, I always thought that Dragon Ball Z was always the full name, but actually, it's this like the first series is just Dragon Balls, and then it's Dragon Ball Z. I thought they were the same thing, but they're not. But funnily enough, when I decide to restrain myself for this, this one actually is Dragon Ball Z. Uh, typical Dragon Ball average thirteen. The Dragon Ball fans obviously know Namek, Namek Sag, no Namek Sag. A little. Dragon Ball fans obviously know Namek Saga, one of the most popular part of Akira Toriyama's manga. These little figures from Adverge Collection are featuring characters from this very part. The young Gohan, Gohu, Vegeta, Piccolo, Fraser, Dodoria and Zabon. Get one figure amongst these seven in your box. Oh, okay, so that, that's the, these are the choices I have. Okay, well, if I was gonna have one of these, who would I want? I mean, Goku is like the one that I'm probably most like aware of just because he's like the main character. Maybe Vegeta as well. I'm kind of most aware of that. And also the kind of scary looking one as well. Is that, is, is that for Piccolo, the one with the, the, the purple? Mm. I, I, don't, I don't really, I'm, I'm not completely, like I know who Goku is. Um, and I'm pretty sure I know. Oh wait, no, is Piccolo the green alien one? Now I'm getting mixed up now. But yeah, we'll see. That's, I'll look it up so I'll know for absolute sure. But let's, let's let's see. Basically, I either want blonde, spiky-haired dude that's got nothing to do with the fact that it's kind of similar to Cloud. I wouldn't mind black, spiky-haired dude as well. Nothing to do with the fact that he's kind of similar to Zack. Or green alien dude, or blue-headed white, e clearly evil-looking guy, alien. And I have. Oh look, they have. <laughs> but I don't get what this is about. Like, why is it that this one has a tree in it? This is something that's kind of that always that confused me a little bit. So, so this is similar to when I got those Pokemon stained glass things, and the ones that came in the Nihon box came with, or the one that came in the Nihon box came with. A little sweet but when I ordered them from online they didn't have any sweets in them 
Like they just came with just the figurine. So that confused me. I was like, wait, what? Is it not usual for them to come with sweets? Like what? how did they only make ones with sweets that go in the Nihon box? I'm so confused by that. Hey, I actually got one of the ones I wanted. It's the, uh, the, the, by my terrible description, you might not have understood what I meant, but this is one of the ones that I said I wanted. The one with the blue head and white, clearly evil looking dude. And I actually have him. There he is. I, I'm going to look up his name because I, I do not, for the life of me, actually know. I just thought that he looked kind of cool. That Although, I will say I didn't realise that his tail looked like that, and that... Not gonna, not gonna lie, that kind of disturbs me, and I'm sure you can see why. <laughs> I love the, the, the smug, the smugness on his head, and he comes with a little stand, that's kind of cute. Okay, so lastly, we have these sweets from shaman king this is anzen manju shaman king chocolates oh the chocolate that is not what i was expecting you look at these little it's funny how just simple kind of like general design of like different like cultures put different ideas in your brain without even realizing it so based on like how the little treats are packeted in there i thought that they were going to be like chewy kind of like like starbursts, they look like starbursts to me, so I was expecting that sort of thing. But actually they're chocolate, because normally, like in Britain, you don't normally package like chocolates like that. Normally they'd just be freeform, like inside the pocket. Um, okay, in this month, the little treat included in the Nihon box should please everyone. In addition to a beautiful packaging representing the Shaman King characters, the Onzen Manju flavoured chocolates are just so heavenly delicious. Onzen Manju are traditional cakes steam cooked with onzen water vapor they are often sold in spa town shops a pure delight what the hell i had no idea that you could what you can cook chocolates cook cakes with steamed onzen water they can make cakes with their hot spring steam i had no idea that was a thing well that's super interesting okay I do wonder how this is gonna taste. I can't even, like, I can't even imagine like what taste that would give. I hope it's not like the hot water that's had someone's sweaty body in though, because like, mmm, extra flavor. <laughs> it's, it's got that saltiness to it. Oh, gross. Okay, yeah, look, oh, they've all got, hmm, that actually does smell quite nice. It did say heavenly, so I'm just like, when it said that, I was like, okay, I'll be the judge of that. But actually, they smell quite nice. It's quite cute because they've, they've got all of the characters' faces on them. Although I only got one of this guy, which is a shame, because I think I like the look of that guy more than the others. Although he does have kind of a crazy spike on his head. <laughs> oh, I didn't get any of the girl, this girl. This girl kind of reminds me of the, the original model of the the female character from Pokemon X and Y. Yeah, that's the one. The one with the red hat. That's, she kind of reminds me of that. She's kind of got the same kind of eye colour and then her hat colour is... Uh, uh, that. Yeah, hat colour is kind of the same. But I didn't get her. That's a shame. I wonder... I hope that the, the flavour... Is it just... They all just the same? They're all just... They're probably all just the same, aren't they? It's not like... Like, there'll be a different flavour based on the packaging. I hope not. Oh, okay. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to look like that. I was expecting it just to look like normal chocolate. Oh, oh, it's sticky. It's like toffee. What the hell? So is it not chocolate? Did it not say chocolate? It says chocolates. These look all like toffees. I guess it's got chocolate inside it. Oh, okay. Hmm, interesting. Oh. Okay, um, unexpected I think is the word that I would describe it. I was expecting it chocolate tasting and then after the stickiness I was expecting toffee kind of tasting. I can't even describe what that tastes like because I've never really had anything like that. It's not unpleasant. I think I could happily eat those. I was just, I'm just surprised at like how different it is than what I was expecting. I think this is one of those things where if you grew up eating them, you'd be like, mmm. But since I've never had it, I'm, my brain is a little bit confused. Like, like, I'm not too sure what to make of it. 
I can taste a hint of the chocolate, but it tastes mainly of something else. And I'm not too sure what that something else is. That something else must be whatever man it says manju flavoured, so I guess that's manju is what the taste is, but I don't know what manju is, so I couldn't describe what it tastes like. So I guess if you ever have anything what that is manju flavoured, that's what it tastes like. Um, yeah, cool, interesting. I could I can I don't dislike it. I could definitely eat those. Um happily. I think I think the more that I eat, the more that I like it. Because I think at the moment I'm my brain is just too confused at not recognizing like whatever the hell it is. Like my brain's just at conflict with what it expected it to be and that it's nothing like my expectation, but it's not awful. Like it's not bad. So it's like, yeah, I will actually eat those like relatively happily and then the next time I have something manju flavoured I might like it more just because I've had that experience now. But yeah, pretty good. And then last kind of unofficial thing, I guess I will have this little blue chewing gum. So I'm so glad that actually I waited to have that first because I feel like this could have ruined that taste and then I probably wouldn't have liked it. But now I'm just going to ruin the chewing gum face taste but surely it's nothing too crazy. Yeah. It's just kind of like a Japanese mint. Hmm. Good. Fine. Okay. And that was it. That was the June Nihon box. The very, very late June Nihon box. And July will be very, very late as well. In fact, they'll probably all be late from this point onwards. But what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good one. I liked that one more than the last one because I actually recognised some of the stuff. And also, this mm, best thing in the box. For me, I will I will feel like a happy little child using this every single time. I'm gonna be using this like crazy. I will treasure this. I love it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and join me for the July Nihon box when that comes out. See you later. Bye!